Hi guys, today we're going to take a quick look at one of the more popular escape room games, Eclipse, and we'll take a look at some of the settings and whatnot that might be involved in that. It's not going to be a deep dive, but it'll give you an overview of what to expect when using it. So the first thing we'll look at is in the, uh, the Your Games section, if you click on the Eclipse game and you go into the Extra Settings tab, you have several different options, and we'll quickly touch on those. Uh, Synthesis VR Game Provisioning means that it will have a one-click setup, and you don't have to do anything with an operator app or something like that. You can just put people directly into a game. So this is VR game provisioning with dedicated game server will actually start a, uh, if you have the game server module, it will start the operator app in the, the, uh, the game server PC and allow you to, to manipulate some of the settings and whatnot that are involved in that. And then similarly with the in-game lobby, this mirrors with the game provisioning for the customer, the direct game provisioning, uh, and then in-game lobby with dedicated server will, of course, match that, but allow the customers to set that up themselves. And then once you've chosen one of those, you'll go ahead and save that. I've chosen today to select this, and we'll go through what might be the difference in that. So if I save that, that will save the setting there, and you can go ahead and save it. Now, if we take a look at how to launch the game, of course, I've got a session booked in. I've selected the game as per normal, and I'm going to click on Use Now, and that will start the session for the customer and give me these options to choose from. Now, at this point, because I have chosen the, uh, the game server version, None of this is going to matter at this point, but if I've chosen the Synthesis VR provisioning, then I would set up everything at this point and be able to start them directly into the game. At this point, once I click on OK, because I have chosen the game server, these are essentially discarded and not saved. So keep that in mind if you have the game server version. If you have the provisioning version, the auto provisioning, then these are going to be, of course, important. You're going, to, you're going to click on OK. The session will start. The game will start. You'll see that the game server version is starting. This is looking at the game server module. So what we're looking at now is the operator module on the game server, and you can do a bunch of different things. Again, we're not going to go into detail on that. Uh, that is something that will be part of the manual, which you can look up. Uh, but just highlighting a few things, you can set the duration of the game as well as selecting to skip the brief and uh, choose the hints that might be in, involved in that. Uh, this will start the game, so you want to wait till you finished everything else. You can schedule, I'm sorry, set some of the, the speaking options. If you have vibration control, you can do that. You can set the, the players' names here as well as assigning them to a specific team. You can also view uh, the video here. Assign that to that. Well, uh, you'll see the video mirror of what the customer is seeing here, so that way you can kind of see what they're doing. And then you have the task list here, which you can skip as the game is progressing, uh, and they can. Um, th then you can skip certain parts of it that if people are having too much difficulty. But once you've ready, once you're ready, just click on play. They will be put in with potentially with the brief, get the background, get told what they need to do, and then you can certainly follow the steps from there. We're going to take a look at a playback of the of some highlights in the game, and you can see how much fun that is. So here we go. You know, this game's pretty cool. Huh? That is an amazing view. Green, 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 red. Now I can see out of your headset. This is kind of a cool feature. Yeah. You can see what the, the other person's seeing. Line the two ships. Oh no. Distance. Visually very stunning game. Highly recommend. The nice thing about this escape is it's very cooperative. You need teams working together. Green, 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 red. Oh, he is the creepy dude. Okay. flashlight ignore the 80 minutes I said a long duration just to make sure we got through it never you understand don't you it's lower okay I think I got it all right nice. oh there's a code there's a code one six three 
Solar Man 163. Oh my f god, there's something crawling up here. This better be you. All right, cool. Oh, that's me. Okay, hold on. I don't know. I'm looking at my wrist to talk to you. All right. Okay. Oh, I already did that. Oh, you did. So we might have to go in. Made it out. And that is Eclipse. Hope you guys give it a shot because it is a fun game. Thanks very much. We'll talk to you guys soon.